say try before you deny. <laughs> Hello? Good evening, folks. This is Darth Ravage here. So I'm coming to tonight with another quick review. I was playing around the Target app last night and discovered that this one particular Stranger Things crossover has uh, arrived and had like six of them at my store. So I went in there this morning, uh, asked them with the DPCI in hand, and got them to pull one from the back. They didn't have a place for it on the shelf, but it was not street date locked, and I am so tickled to have this in my hand. With that said and done, let's do a little bit of homework. Let's like, share, subscribe, uh, all that stuff down below. Help my channel continue to grow past that thousand uh, case at Mark. Let's go on up to 2K and stuff with it, guys. Thank you again to all those that have subscribed. Let's turn this camera around and get into this quick review. Thanks again for watching. Like the box says, delivered hot to you. There he is on the box. We got some transformer uh, glyphs here that could probably get deciphered for those that want to do that kind of thing. I'll hold this up a little closer if you wanted to see that. I don't recommend calling that number. I wonder if that's an actual address in California. I might Google map that or whatnot. And it says 1984 Surfer Boy Pizza Incorporated. Surfer Boy. This is really, really nice. The presentation is great. It's just too bad that like, I don't know, can't st get stuff from Hasbro Pulse worth the hoot. But I love getting stuff in store anyway. It gives me the thrill to hunt. Uh, this is look at the side of the box. It's 2023 crossover. Uh, I got the back of the box. And here is the UPC. Pause and scan right there, folks. And hopefully I can help you find your very copy of this. Uh, so like, actually there were seven pies left at my store. And now there's six if you're in the Asheville area or like you might want to check your target out, app out, see if it's there. Go snag you a copy of this most excellently boxed figure. Uh, everything is just high quality on there. Uh, this is a thick carded stock. I mean, it doesn't feel like really flimsy at all. And uh, that's the top of the box with nothing there. All that said, oh, that's kind of cool too. Hey, who's watching? Boom, boom. There's Code Red. Anyway, let's get Code Red out of the box and see how cool he really is, guys. Thanks again for watching my channel. I highly suggest anybody try this guy before you deny. Let's get this guy out of the box, like I was saying. And we got another box. So we got a slip cover that came slipping off. And then we're going to open up this gnarly thing of pizza. Good night. And it's taped. Give me just a moment, guys. Ah, there we go. We got some surfer board pizza. We open up that box and we get a tissue paper doobie. We get some grease stains. That's kind of nicely tempoed in there. Uh, a couple of dents, I guess, from where the, the car came back and got it. You got your pineapple and jalapeno. Don't knock it or don't deny it till you try. And this thing is kind of upside down. <laughs> I wonder if it was supposed to be like this. I guess somebody got it upside down at the factory. So there's that. You open this on up here. You got your instructions and the legalese and just more of this nice thick carded stock. This looks really kind of gross. Looks like, but that's what all pizza things look like, and it's really nicely done here. No grease intended. It's good carded stock, guys, and uh, makes me want to go grab a piece of pizza. You get some of the pizza pattern, Autobot black and red, instructions with code red. Is this supposed to be Argyle, guys? It kind of looks like it could be a robot Argyle. Awesome little figure so far. It looks on the box the stuff and things that you can do with your Surfer Boy pizza van. And uh, the pineapples are not included, nor is the jalapenos. But the box art is super nice. These instructions tend to show us another take on a van transformer. All new original. We'll we're going to get to the bottom buckets and bolts and the stuff and things you can do with the accessories when you get there. He gets there in 16 steps to robot mode. I will take a closer look at that in just a second off camera to save you some time. Man, this wax paper dewy holding the Surfer Boy pizza van is really, really... Wow, it feels like it's like a to-go order, man. But don't throw out that leftover pizza just yet, guys, because it's got some little things to open up. And you got the doobie paper with the Autobot stuff. Oh, it's the same kind of... Nope, it's got tape on it. Let me get that for you, guys. 
Whoa, man. It feels like a salt packet, but it, it's got some tape goo on it. And it's a toilet paper doobie, guys, with Autobot symbols. Let's get this bad boy actually open to reveal the goodies inside, guys. All right. It's kind of like a Cracker Jack box, but with accessories. And no, I haven't just tore this open like a kid at Christmas just yet. I'm going to take my time and do this because it's got some nicely little art stuff like doodled on there. And I kind of want to see what that is all about. I got to admit, it feels like somebody wrapped up my leftovers from some scotch tape and wax paper. Guys, I just got to say that paper that wraps up the van, it's actually like Argyle's map of Stranger Things. You got Hawkins, Salt Lake City, Lenora Hills, 11, and uh, looks like some Latin longitude, uh, north and west stuff there. So... There it is, guys. On the other side, it just looks like your everyday, ordinary napkin wrapped up paper. It's supposed to be a napkin map, but I mean, that's really, really cool detail, guys. That's so, so cool. Oh, man. Okay, I can't throw that away. And now that we got Argyle's map all unfurled and stuff, we got the accessories here. We got like a little nice clear plastic axe painted right here on the handle. That's kind of cool. We got us a... Uh, very Stranger Things spiked mace all good and hollowed out there so that it'll snap and break eventually. We got some jalapeno flamethrower, clear plastic again. It's a matter of time. We've got a Surfer Boy Pizza logo. And I guess it fits in somewhere else. I'll look at the instructions in a minute. And then we got Surfer Boy Pizza Van, our star here tonight. In my hand with the pinwheels. Let's take a look at that back side. Oh, we got painted tail lights and a bumper. That's nice, guys. And we got the logo and Volkswagen. And da 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 da. Then I got huh. Yep, Vanagon. Vanagon, yep. Anyway, on the side of the box, or side of the box, on the side of the van, I think I might have had one too many Surfer Boy pizzas. We got delivered to your door hot Surfer Boy pizza. And then you got the surfboard on top of the van. Uh, yeah, let's stick with one color from now on, Hasbro. That's already kind of one of my nitpicks, boom. And you can see again, with it being clear plastic, how that doesn't jive and vibe with the, yeah. So they'll probably get a remake of this and we can see his head clearly inside of the thing there. And I'm getting some Surfer Boy, I don't know, Ironhide vibes off of this already. We're gonna get into that transformation, but this looks pretty sharp all in all. I'm gonna try to take a look at the thing. Oh gosh, hollowness. Okay guys. Let's get out our gap fillers. We might we got some gaps to get filled here. Filling the gaps is just not a lot of fun. Let's uh, get this guy transformed and see how cool he really is. I might do a comparison real quick. Says I don't know if this is deluxe size or a Voyager size. Give me a sec. Shame on me. I about forgot some weapon storage here, guys. So we got the axe and the Surfer Boy pizza all stored on one side while we were burning it down with a mace flame effect firing it up going down the highway faster we can go all right now that that got the weapon storage knocked out of the way let me go get that uh other van that i want to compare this to and see if this is a deluxe or a voyager and the thing i wanted to see is is it a voyager or is it a deluxe well this is the new voyagers but they're getting smaller and it could be going for a deluxe and then well i think it's another voyager for that price point you know, if I if I got a high for buying this, the price point really did kill the buzz there. But I'm a big sucker for crossovers, anything with transformers, and here we are. You can see that Ironhide is just a little bit longer than uh, Code Red there, and uh, I wish that the accessories did better clean up like it did with the Ironhide here. Wish Ironhide had more paint like the uh, Code Red there. Code Red's got the pinwheels, and it's okay to, I guess, that we got pinwheels here, but I, I like this these wheels like a lot better. I don't know why that couldn't have been afforded for an exclusive that's $44. I mean, anyway, I think that the money should be 
for the, for the money spent, you should have high quality like that. So I might, nope, they're, they're all pinned in there. That's okay. Let's get, uh, let's give cover it a, a chance in robot mode there and go through it. Give, it'll be a second for you, but in three, two, one, and. I wanted to stop mid transformation to make a point here, guys. I, I mean, it's neat what they did with some engineering here, but I really do wish they would stop hollowing everything flipping out. I mean, this, this is not worth $44 when it's this holy. With that said and done, let me get this finished and get it into robot mode, give you my thoughts. And guys, after completing that meal, I gotta say I'm kind of conflicted here. Whereas when you look at it from the front angle here, this looks like a really, really awesome figure all the way around. But then it's like when you take and you turn things upside down and or you turn it around backwards, you can kind of see how it kind of fall apart. You can see the hollowness. I am such a not a fan of the hollowness. I wish that for the money spent, the engineering was there to cover them, fill up, and or have like a little spring out, popped out things to where it fills in the gaps. Uh, it's pretty clever what they did down here, but there's just no sense in all the holiness there. So, I mean, clever way that they did the, the weapon storage here on the back. Uh, very, very awesome how that's done. I do worry over time with the clear plastics that it will break and what have you. But uh, it looks like he's ready to go into battle in the upside down. And this is a fitting, fitting figure. It does have quite a bit of articulation for an Earthspark Voyager, I guess. But I don't want this to be the de facto moving forward. It's so, so, so very close to being a perfect rendition of what could have been an Ironhide. I'm just really not a big fan of the, the clear plastics right there. And speaking of Ironhide, let's go ahead and get him out here on the turntable. And let you see what a Voyager these days is going. So maybe this is a leader? No, nah, this is not a leader. I think this is more a scale of the Voyager with the Earth Spark dumbed down. I don't I don't get it sometimes, guys. I really just don't get it how they they uh, I don't uh, it, it makes my, my brain hurt a little bit. The side profile, they're really got it's about the same kind of profile there. He's a little bit wonky because I'm spinning on a turntable. You can see the little hollow bits again. I mean, for the money spent on these, these are $35. That was 45 plus tax, it was 48. I mean, for money spent, that needed, it needs to be, and this is a, a quality, this is probably one of the best crossovers, an original mold, it's the best of those, and I can't knock it, but I just feel like we're getting hollowed out and cheaped out here for the money spent, guys. Uh, it's a really, really good figure, I really do like it now that i've got it in hand and i've messed around with it a little bit let's get them armed up so in case vecna does make it over here to the upside down or unicom comes crying out of the sky or galvatron or actually megatron comes and tries to blast it away i think uh code red there may have a chance in this thing you know who knows i mean it's it's fun guys and what have you and what it is this is not also all the weapons configurations and we'll get it in one more weapons config before I go because this piece does actually transform into a gun and we can give him that spicy jalapeno pineapple launcher there a little flame and kick there and we got like a combining weapon right here so I can go all the way across the way there looks really really awesome that they actually added that in and stuff so you got a mace or an axe or a mace axe <laughs> there in hand ready for like i said you know vecna coming to the world unicron or even megatron galatron blasting away these bots might stand a chance let's get uh code red and some final thoughts with my negatives with the clear plastics getting some final thoughts here i really do like this it's got like a really nice transformation even though it's all waffled out there on the back or what have you uh, clear plastics or whatnot. I kind of wonder if they will do another version of this and either make it the mystery machine or they'll use the iron hide uh, mold to do that. There was another van, maybe an 18 van or something or other crossover. Who knows what they're going to do. I like that you can actually use the thing to be, you know, a nice little pizza launching awesomeness with the blast effect. Just wish that these could get, the, the gaps could get filled in 
and the screw holes could be done away with and I mean it's just like every chance they did something right here with this guy they did something that just absolutely appalls me I mean like with the hollowness and stuff other than that I want to say it's a solid figure guys it, it does feel like really good in hand and it just got the size as you saw with Ironhide but I mean it's just like every chance they got they either clear plastic or hollowed it out and I just don't really think I can recommend for $44 or $45 with tax it's like 48 I mean that's up to you I, I'm sucker for crossovers and here I am again with it and uh, just want to do better and I kind of feel like this looks like a lot of earth spark uh, earth spark earth uh, siege earthrise molding and it actually folds up into that van mode in a great way and uh i feel like we got you know a little bit cheaped out there uh this could have been an excellent version for the siege because it kind of hides and conceals the pieces and parts and whatnot and i get it that those were cybertronian and or it's just really ugly having feet hanging out the back end of the vehicle this wins in that category 110 percent and that's 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 the thing i'm like really mixed on this guy but don't deny without giving him a try. That is the truest thing that can be said for this figure. Thanks again for watching my channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the stuff down below. Thanks again to all those who have subscribed to carry me over the 1K mark. Let's get on to 2K, guys. And uh, thank you again for your time, patience, and, and for watching my channel, guys. I hope this is a, it helps you decide on whether or not this is for you or whatnot. And... Uh, it just definitely fixed that niche, you know, for the Transformers crossovers. Really, really nice presentation to the box, to the paper throughout. It's got the novelty, and uh, I just, but that, on the other side of this, with the hollowness, I just don't think it's worth the 44 So, to each his own. Have an excellent day out there. Till all of one, guys. Thank you again for watching.